Um, the last bit is about dye and powder interaction. Dye and powder interaction. Particle size for the powder versus dye or roughness. D for particle size. How big is your particle versus dye or roughness? How smooth is your dye? Okay. And quite often you would uh, naturally expect the rougher the dye, which means your dye wall is not smooth, has a lot of zigzag structure, the higher the friction until plateauing. Higher the friction, which means uniform stress distribution or non-uniform stress distribution. No. Not uniform, right? You are just stacking it, right? And the small, on the other hand, the smaller the particles, relatively speaking, the higher the friction. Make sense? The smaller the particle, because for the same roughness, the smaller the particle, it appears it, it can see the roughness more. So the higher the friction, okay? So this is kind of a schematic. This is the same roughness, right? Left and right, we have the same surface roughness. But on the left, we have small particles. On the right side, we have much larger particles, right? We are plotting, we are using the ratio of particle to roughness. Particle to roughness. The left side, much smaller than one. The right side much larger than one. Make sense? Particle size to roughness. And uh, on the left side, naturally, it would experience more higher friction. Uh, friction. The right side, if the particles are large, it's going to slide through lower friction. Make sense? And this is just a pure size effect. Okay? If it is smaller particles, the friction would be the harness. If it's a coarse particle, it also depends on the harness. If it's smaller particle, it will slip within the powder. Actually, it's within this powder, the particles will slip. And if it's large particle, it slips between the particle and the and the wall. Okay. So other than the size, the harness also would matter somewhat between the particle and the wall material. The harder the dye wall, the lower the friction. This thing. The harder the wall, which means the wall does not change shape, does not. Uh, uh, you do not deform it, the lower the friction. Make sense? Then we think of plastic dye, it would have a lot of friction. And here we are plotting three different uh, ratio between the particle harness versus the wall harness. Three ratio between the particle harness versus wall harness. And the top one is the particle compared with the wall is relatively relatively soft, right? While the bottom is relatively the particles are relatively harder. And the horizontal axis is the size ratio. The horizontal axis is the size ratio. And horizontal is size ratio. Left side means the particles are very, very fine. The right side is the particles are very, 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 very large. And what generally what people see is, okay, as the particles get larger and larger, the coefficient of friction force become generally. As the particle gets larger and larger, the friction generally gets smaller, but they would plateau also, depends on the the relative harness, okay. 
and also depends on the grooves on the die wall, whether it's vertical along the direction you apply the force or perpendicular to it. Okay, if it's perpendicular, you probably can imagine more friction. If it's along it, it's less. And lubricant, whether you apply lubricant, if it's essentially fuse up these grooves, make it smooth, and allow the slip slipping. Okay, more effective for fine powders if we add uh, lubricant to reduce the friction and help the packing.